Okay, so what I want to do now is talk about how I made these plants for this moon scene and little plants that are sitting in the habitat. I'm going to cover how I made these and then I'm also going to cover a very similar thing but um, doing grass is just a way to add additional uh, detail to your scene. Uh, they're pretty simple. It's one leaf that I then duplicated a handful of times and then parented everything to an empty. Um, and then as I duplicated that whole group, I was changing the size, um, the scale, rotating it around, trying to give some additional variation. You could even, once you duplicate everything, uh, go in and, and manually adjust leaves further uh, just to continue to oh, turn off proportional editing just to continue to make it a little bit more, um, or a little bit less repetition. So, uh, I'm gonna select everything and hide it, shift C to center my 3D cursor. And the way that I made this is I started with a plane. So shift A, add mesh plane, uh, and tab into edit mode, scale it along the X axis to get a very rough leaf shape. And then I'm going to add three edge loops, go to edge select mode and just, whoops, seven at top view, uh, and just scale them around from the top just to get a rough leaf shape. Whoops, doesn't have to be exact. Uh, I also, well, I've, I've since closed my reference, but I had reference open. Okay, that's leaf-ish, but that only looks like a leaf from the top. From the side, it looks like nothing. So we need to fix that, um, since this is 3D and we are going to see this in three dimensions. I'm going to add three more edge loops. Okay, and I'm going to take this edge loop. So uh, Alt left click on this edge loop, Shift Alt left clip, click on this one. Select both of them, and I'm just going to move them up. Okay, it's going to give a little bit of a curve in that direction. Uh, however, the the tip here, I don't want that much of a curve, so I'm going to scale Z and flatten that out a little bit. Uh, I'm also going to just move these out. A little bit more. Okay, that works. I'm going to do a similar thing here, uh, but I'm going to leave a little bit more shape in it. I'm going to scale these in a little bit, scale it down, and then I'm going to go to edge mode, and I'm going to go into the side view, and I'm going to extrude it out and kind of get the rough shape zoom in here so you, a little bit more so you can see, uh, just to get the rough shape of the stem. Yeah, these are not going to hold up to super close scrutiny. They're just from for some additional background detail. Okay, so we're almost there. I think there's only two more things that I want to do to finish this leaf. The first is I want to give it some shape in this from the side. It's, right now it's really flattened, that's not great. So I'm going to select uh, all those vertices at the end. And I think, yeah, that'll be good. I'm going to turn on proportional editing. I'll keep it on smooth fall off. And I'm just going to rotate, adjust my influence until I get a nice curve. And there's the shape. Very simple. Don't need any more than that. The last thing to complete this leaf, uh, if this was going to be really in the distance, then you could be done here. Otherwise, I'm going to add a solidify modifier. And as it turns out, the default's pretty good. Okay. That's good. Um, now, the thing about the solidify modifier is now if I decide to scale it, Never mind, everything still looks great. So I'm going to leave the solidify modifier on there. Uh, down here at the base, 
I'm going to go back in the top view. I'm just going to move these. Whoops, turn off proportional editing. I'm going to move them out a little bit just for a more interesting uh, shape there. But that's it. So once I have that back in top view, I'm going to select everything in edit mode and I'm going to move it over here. Uh, this way it's keeping the pivot point still in the center. Uh, yeah, that will work. Oh, I'm also going to move it up. Something like that. Okay. Uh, now, I need to build out the rest of the plant. So, I'm going to, again, do this in top view. Shift D right click to keep it in the same spot and then R and because I'm doing this in top view uh, it's 7 on the number pad it's only going to rotate around the Z axis and I'm just going to do that a few times trying not to be too precise or perfect or regular uh, we'll do one more I'll just do a little bit, something maybe like that. Okay. Now what I want to do is add some irregularity because there's not going to have five perfect leaves that are all identical. Uh, so I'm going to we'll kind of move this one in a little bit. We'll move this one in a little bit. Something like that. Maybe this one's going all the way through. Maybe something like that. And then from the side view, I want to change the height again so we get more variation. And then I also want to change the, the sizes of everything. So uh, let's see, this leaf is on top, so maybe it gets the most sun and that makes it larger. I don't know. I'm not, I don't have a green thumb by any means. But I'll select these uh, vertices and scale it along the x-axis. I'm going to hit x twice. That's going to translate it on the local axis. And we'll make that one a little bit wider. And then s, y, y to scale it in the y local direction. Okay. Then maybe I'll take this leaf and make it a little bit shorter and skinnier. And maybe we'll move it over a little bit too. Uh, maybe I'll also grab these, then I'll turn proportional editing back on, and again, just try to give some more variation. That's that's the name of the game here. I'll just regular scale that one down. Um, something like that. Turn off proportional editing. Okay. So let's say that's the plant. Let's move that one over a little bit. That's a little bit ridiculous. All right. So that's my plant. Um, the next thing that I did is I added an empty circle. Rotate along the x-axis 90 degrees so that it's laying flat. Then I'm also going to go over here into the empty properties and just bring up the size so it's a little easier to select. Then I'm going to select all the leaves, make sure that the empty is my active object, and then Control-P and parent the leaves to the empty, keep the transform. I should note that you should be naming all of these. I did not because I'm terrible. So I'll name one leaf, copy that, and paste that onto the rest. And empty, this is going to be empty underscore leaf control. There we go. Okay, so now I have this. I can move it around, and everything is going to go with it. Um, I can also right-click on the empty in the outliner and select the hierarchy. That's going to select everything. And now I can shift D to duplicate, uh, rotate it, whoops, rotate it around, maybe scale it down, 
do it again. I'm also going to hit Shift Z so that it doesn't move up and down. All right, these should actually still want them on the grid floor. There we go. All right, and now you can get some variation and. and kind of fill out a scene very quickly. Okay. And as you layer these, again, I'd also go back in, um, you know, maybe kind of change the arrangement of some of these leaves so they don't look quite so identical. Maybe scale individual ones down. Maybe this one doesn't even have a fifth leaf, it's just four. And then maybe we rotate that all the way over there. I don't know. Uh, again, it's, it's variation is the important thing. Then that I would do is select everything, hit M to give it a new collection. We'll call this new leaves. Click OK. Now they're in a collection and I can easily hide everything. Uh, the last thing that I want to do is grass. I probably should have done this one first because it's actually simpler because we're not going to add a solidify modifier to this. We're also going to start with a plane. This time I'm going to remember to name it. Uh, we'll call it grass blade. We'll go into edit mode. We're going to rotate it around the x-axis 90 degrees so it's standing up. We're also going to move it up one unit so it's on the floor, on the grid floor. And then we'll scale it along the x-axis, something like that. I'm going to add maybe four, yeah, four uh, edge loops looks good. I'm going to select the top two vertices, turn on proportional editing, and I think... Uh, We'll do inverse square. We'll try that. Scale it along the x-axis. No, I don't like that. Let's try sharp. Yeah, sharp kind of works. Okay, so I'm just going for... This is going to be an exaggerated uh, plate of gla grass. It's not going to look exactly right, but you got the general form. And then I'm going to go to smooth fall off go to side view, and again rotate it. I'm actually going to hit period on the keyboard and uh, rotate around the 3D cursor since it's at the center. And now I can kind of bend it this way. Uh, let's try spherical. Don't like that either. Let's kind of play around with all the options until you find one that you do like. Uh, smooth might be the best. You just get a little bit of a curve there. Okay. So that's really it for the blade of grass. You could potentially add one more edge loop and just move it out a little bit turn off proportional editing, to give it a little bit of curve in, in that direction. But you don't need to. So once you have one, then you kind of want to make like tufts of grass. So we'll just duplicate it, spin it in place a little bit, move it out, scale it down. You know, same sort of thing. Maybe this one gets scaled up a little bit. And SXX, make it a little skinnier. Scale this one down. Okay. Uh, let's see, something like that, maybe. Maybe this one is actually rotated out a little bit further. Okay, and then once you have that, we're going to add another empty. 
Again, we'll do circle. Rotate, parent everything to the circle. And now, we have our scene, we have our giant alien grass. Kind of put this over here. And scale it way down. Whoops. Period, median point, scale it down. Okay, you can even turn on uh, vertex snapping so that it'll snap to whatever vertices you have on the ground. And that'll help you position it. Um, again, select the hierarchy and move it around. Rotate it, scale it, modify it, and help build out your scene. This would be a great thing to put at like the base of maybe some fence posts at the corner of a building. Uh, it can help really clean up the or, or make you know more interesting the transition between two surfaces. Okay, so if I I'll, let me duplicate one here real quick, and I'll turn my habitat back on. You kind of see maybe like right in here, right? Like if you put it right up against the building, let me turn off snapping. You just add a little bit of additional interest to your scene. So those are the two things that I want to show for plants. Obviously, there's a million different ways to do it. Uh, I do encourage you just to find reference images, um, but I just want to, to show you that so you know that it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, time or effort to make a few different assets that you can then duplicate and, and fill out your scene in a rather pleasing way.